if you want to know how you can make a custom chat in Roblox just like this one uh, with a new refreshing UI, you're going to have to watch this video all the way to the end to find out exactly how to make this. Hey guys, and welcome back to this brand new tutorial on my YouTube channel, and in this tutorial, I will be showing you how you can make a custom chat in Roblox with chat tags, for example, a developer or a YouTuber or whatever you want, by using the new chat service called Text Chat Service. It's a really cool new feature, and uh, it's a really cool tutorial, this one. It uh, features a custom chat, as you saw, and it, it you don't even have to make a UI for it. The game will do it for you. So before I start this video, I want to go, uh, I want to give a shout out to Creeperman for giving me the code for this. Uh, he wanted me to make a tutorial on this, and that's why I'm here. So big shout out to you, man. Uh, your social link will be in the description. Go subscribe, go follow him, do whatever you want. So uh, before we start this video for the second time, if you like this video, give it a like. If you like it, if you don't like it, give it a dislike. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Turn on the notification bell to never miss out on anything I upload. And make sure to become a member by clicking the blue join button down below. So that is basically it for me. And let's get right back into coding. So without further ado, let's get right into this tutorial. So you might as notice, uh, you want to go to your game, you want to publish it, or whatever you want. You want to go to text chat service over here. And the first thing you want to change is chat's version. You want to change it to text chat service. So in that way, you can customize it to your likings. So now... We can go to start your player. We can open this up. We can go to start your player scripts and we can click the plus. Oh, plus local script. I'm just gonna call it client, because why not? Okay, so let's get right into coding. So first of all, it's a little bit weird. It's a little, little bit, hmm, a little bit complicated, but I will guide you through it. So local function, oh, generate chat tag. And then text colon, text is a string, comma, and the color is a color three. And then colon string, okay, just like that. So you should have text colon is a string, the color is a color three, and it's a string. And then return, and then like this, and then an arrow to the left, font color is equals to, and I realized I need to do the smaller one, so use the small speed marks. Then over here, uh, let me do this, the big one. And then uh, dot dot, color dot dot, and then like this. And then close it, and then open it again. Font size is equal to 17. Let me check, 17. And then close it, and then open it. Font face is equal to Fredoka1. And then close it again, and then uh, add in like that. It's a little bit complicated, but make sure you just follow it. Make sure you know the difference between the small ones and the big ones, and just read it out. So you should be at the small one at the end, and then dot dot text, dot dot, and then uh, the small ones again. And let me just make some space. Okay, the small one, and then open it up, slash font, close, open, slash font, close, open, slash font, close. That is what you want to do. And that is your function complete. Uh, you just need to have this and just, uh, it's okay if it's underlined, don't worry about it. So now, local players, is because the game, call on get service players, and then uh, local text chat service, is because the game, call on get service, text chat service, uh, this one. And now you want to do local group ID, and you want to get the group ID of your group. I'm just gonna uh, I'm just gonna do mine with a friend of mine, Lua Script. So let me just uh, it's one two uh, it's one three five six two six zero one like that. Okay. Now uh, you just want to get your group ID. Uh, go to the link from your group and then get the numbers. Now text chat service dot on incoming message. As you can see, called when text chat service is receiving an incoming message. So incoming message is equal to a function and then message colon text chat message like that. Local properties is equal to instance.new instance.new text 
shot message properties. It's a pretty long word, but just get it. Now, props, properties, properties, uh, dot text is equals to, uh, you know, the, the, the big speech marks, and then open it up, font size, and then the small ones is equals to 17, close it up, open it up, font face is equals to fredoka1, and then close it like that, and then dot dot message dot text dot dot. And then open it up, slash font, close it, open it up, slash font, close it. Just like that. I believe this is called um, HTML. Yep. If message dot text source, as you can see, it refers to the origin text source. So if there's a, a source of it, then local player is equal to players, colon, get player by user ID. And we're going to use message dot text source dot user ID. As you can see, that actually works. Now, local group rank is equals to player colon get role in group of your group ID. Like this. And then properties uh, the prefix text is equals to generate chat tag. And this is a little bit complicated. Uh, double hash, not like that. Just like that, uh, like that. Hold on, close it up. Okay, generate chat tag, and I need to do these finally. Uh, open up the square bracket, and then dot dot group rank dot dot, and then close it up. Okay, and then add in a space, open it up again, and then dot dot message dot prefix text. And then uh, let's see dot dot. I'm gonna close it up again. So you should have this right now. Oh, you should have this. Open it up. Group rank. Open it up. Message prefix text. Yep. And then outside of that, comma. And then you need to do a hash. And you can like like a hex code, I believe. You can find it on uh, on the internet. So this one is like for green. So one a uh, a e six a five. That is a hash for or it's like a hex code for uh, green. And before we actually test this, let's add in a one more line, and that is return properties. Let's return them, okay? So let's click the X over here, and let's click play. And you should see an immediately new UI. Boom, look at that. That is shiny. Look at that. So now we can click it away, of course, as you can see, click it away. Now let's try to type something. And my uh, rank in the group of my friend is Enchanted Developer. So let's try to type newbie. Hello. Enter. And as you can see, it's fully green, enchanted developer with the message. So let's see what happens if we try to do a large piece of text. Enter. Oh, exceeds the match. Okay, oh, whoops. Let's do this. As you can see, test, 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 test. <laughs> uh, all tests, but don't worry. As you can see, it actually works. It is really cool. There's a really cool new UI for it. And this is really cool if you just want a refreshing game UI. So if you did, in fact, enjoy this tutorial, make sure to give it a like. If you like it, if you don't like it, drop a dislike. Subscribe to my YouTube channel and uh, make sure to turn on the notification bell. So never miss out on anything I upload. And uh, make sure to become a member by clicking the blue join button down below. And all I can say is that my name is Newbie, and I say peace out.